Hello everybody, thank you again for following my channel. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, please leave comments, please press the like button. Um, I'm here again today to show you the finds of today. Tomorrow I plan on, and I'm going to try and stay strong, to start listing, because I've been listing for the last few days, so I'm going to start listing everything I bought lately. Um, I've discovered today that I think I'm an owl whisperer. Ornamental Owl Whisperer and Vintage Purse Whisperer. You'll see why shortly. All right, well, here we go, guys. Um, we headed off to Grafton today. My husband did the groceries. He's great. He does the groceries and the cooking. I do the shopping and the paying the bills and making money. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you everything I got today, starting with the, I think it's um, Salvos in Grafton. So I'm going to start with that today. It's the first one I went to, I'm pretty sure. And I've got to find which box it is. I had it all organized a minute ago. Um no, it wasn't actually. It wasn't the Salvos. The first one was this like really um, privately run op shop thing. She got a bit narky with me because I asked her how much the patterns were. She said they were a dollar each and there was hundreds, like thousands of them. And I said, oh, I used to buy them for 10 cents. Oh, we don't do that here. And I'm like, okay, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm just saying, you're, you know, reduce your prices and you'll get some stuff going. So I only get the patterns because I want to wrap my items that I sell up in them. So, oops. A good way to break things um so the first one i went to was that one and um she wasn't serving a really nice lady was serving and i got i don't know if you can see that i got i think there were six of them they're really nice beer glasses they say strong arm bitter and boag or some bogue or something on the bottom but yeah they're only 20 cents each so i ended up grabbing all those because i thought well they were really nice glasses and then um there was also these other glasses in here which are the, what should I call it, Digimon ones. There was three of those. I think there was three or three or four. So I grabbed them as well. I thought, well, they will, they will, they'll probably sell because people love all that Pokemon, Digimon, all that sort of stuff. Um, I think there was one, two, yeah, I think there was three or four of those. And they all got different patterns on it. Then I also got, hang on, so this one's got a, yeah, it's a different one again. So yeah um i also got two of these bottles i make kombucha i've said it before i'm going to put some kombucha. we used to have hundreds of these my husband used to do um brew his own you know liqueur whatever he used to do beers and all sorts of stuff and i regret not getting them. i thought these would be great um put my kombucha in it when it's ready and then people can take them at the door because i'm trying to like i said before i'm trying to get rid of all plastic in my life if i can so it was that bag oh hang on what else was in there it was these little was these two handles um, a lot of people use these, get these. I used to use them all the time when I was crafting. I was making a lot of record bags. So I got the records and cut them out and um, was always looking for handles to make uh, bags. Also book bags. Um, I did a few of those back in the day as well. So I might even keep those because I might end up getting back into my crafting eventually. So they're only $2.70, which was really a good price. So I grabbed those as well. And that was that, what was the first one? Okay, that was one. Number two was... Salvos, I think, is the next one I went to. Just got to bear with me to making sure I'm remembering. No, it wasn't the Salvos. I'll get to the Salvos eventually. It was the one just up the road. I don't know what it was called, but there's another little. It's a really one of those really good ones where you can dig in. Not, it's not all set out perfectly like the Vinnies are these days. It's all one of those dig in ones. Hang on, I'll just bend over and grab the box. So in that one. I got some more bottles for kombucha. They're only 50 cents each. I'm always after bottles because I'm constantly extending the amount of kombucha I make each week because everyone drinks it. Um, I got, so two of those. I got, I've got to make sure nothing gets knocked over. I got two of these, which were really nice. It's got a bit of, I like the tarnish look, but this has actually got stamped English, English, English solid, solid, solid English. They're only two dollars each and I really love all that type of stuff. Maybe I might have to keep that one. I don't know. Probably well knowing me. But anyway, we'll see. I'll, I'll have a look and see how much they're going for. But yeah, they're solid English. I'll wear this solid English. Um, yeah, so they're pretty cool. Two of those. So that was good. That was a good find for that, that op shop. Um, and I think, I know I did. I've got this there too. I've got this. Now I'm all, the squash rackets of Timber, old Timber one. I'm trying to find the tennis ones and this will do me. This will this will cover me at the moment. But I'm really 
I just love the old school. Look, I used to have a few of these. I used to have a few of the wooden tennis ones. I'm looking for the wooden tennis ones, which if you do find, are usually quite expensive, even in old shops. Um, but yeah, I just like to eventually have my bar when I get a house uh, with all these sort of old school stuff on the walls. That's my plan. Kind of, geez, I'll never make any money the way I go. Um, what else did I get from that one? Oh, just some... Did I get that there? No, I didn't get that one there. I got... No, I didn't get that there either. Sorry, guys. Just so disorganised. Got too much stuff. I got this... I know, it's, it's not, not vintage. But what I got it for... Because you know how I said the other day I like to um, send thank you cards to people? Well, I thought these are awesome because I can now... Hang on. It's a little pad here with little owls on it. Owl number one. With those, I can put a little thank you on these um, when I run out of the other cards. But yeah, that was my owl number one. But wait, there's more. That shop had the owl. The owl. I got... Um, oh, everything came in boxes today, so I sort of got to lean over and grab everything. Boxes and bags. Oh, what else? I know I've got something else at that op shop. I think it might be this. I am hoping it's this one. I think it was that one. Yeah, I think it was that one. I can't remember. I think it was that. Um, it's just a big stein. So if it's doesn't, it's not worth much. I'll probably give it to the old fella. Uh, um, but yeah, I just really like the um, the graphics on it. So I've got that as well. I have a really cool bar if I ever get one. And then I got a pair of rainbow braces because you know the kids always have got some sort of dress up thing, and I thought that'd be perfect for rainbow day, <laughs> colour day, something day. Anyway, nothing exciting there. And then I got these two. I love pewter. Oh, did I move? I think I moved. I love pewter stuff like this. And it's only 50 cents. And I just love it. And my, most likely it will go in my my collection. I have um, heaps and heaps of these in storage. So I'll have to go through it. And I've got this one too, which I'm not as crash hot on. But it's only 50 cents as well, I think. And they've both got beautiful, um, you know. Even the handles have got like, stamping all around there, which I think is gorgeous. But yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything written on the, either of them. But yeah, I like them. I like that tarnished old look. So that was that op shop. I also got this, which is not vintage either. <laughs> In and out of the frame today. Sock holders, please tell me they work. I'm so sick of trying to find socks for the kids. Only 50 cents. I had dozens of them. I'm thinking, yeah, they mustn't work that well. Everyone's chucking them out as well. But anyway, so that's what I got from that op shop. And then I went to, then I went to the Salvos, didn't I? I think, yeah, I did. So I was busting to go to the loo, and I had to go to the loo really badly, and I, so I went to there. So that, oh, there it is. A bag full of stuff I've got here. Okay, and then this one, not in, not in any order at all. Cause I'm all over the place in there. I got this boxed. The box is a little bit damaged on top, and not my type of thing at all. But I did. I did have a look on eBay at the selling and they're selling for around $20 these type of things uh, was it the Dracula lady what's her name and Stokes, Stokes collection so yeah that was only three dollars so I thought well I'll get 20 bucks back on that I'll be very happy um, but yeah I keep an eye out for everything like I'm not yes I want to buy and sell vintage that's my my big thing but I'm not going to always be able to find vintage stuff so i will look out for other things that i know people are into and they can collect so that was that oh put that that's a break then i got i don't even know what i got in there i can't remember um i don't know why i picked this book box up it's that eve saint laurent book uh, box eve saint laurent is that what i know what you say it's only a dollar and I thought, well, if it was sitting there for a dollar, I'll grab it. It'd be good if I don't sell it as a box. I know a lot of people buy the boxes of different types of companies. I'll have a look. I don't know. But for a dollar, I can put something else in it and make it look really nice when it's posted. So maybe I'll find something Eve St. Laurent that I can sell. I don't know. Um, and then I got, I don't know what I'm, I might be selling this. It's a book on ceramics, but it's got so much information. It's all black and white. But it's got so much information on different pottery and stuff that it might be worth just keeping. But... I doubt I'll read it, so I probably will end up selling it because, yeah. But yeah, I thought that was pretty good. It was only a dollar. So I'll try for that one. <sighs> I'm running out of space. 
And then I also got Super Mario book. It was two dollars. People love all this sort of stuff. And I could maybe get a few Super Mario things to put together. But it's got really good, all the good graphics inside, and I'm sure some Super Mario fan would love it. So yeah, I grabbed that for that reason. I didn't even look up the stats on that. I just grabbed it. Um, then, 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 I went to Lifeline, and it was garbage there this time. Last time was really good. And after that, I went to Vinnie's. No, I went to Vinnie's first. That's right, Lifeline. So just ignore Lifeline. It's no good anyway. Um, then I went to Vinnie's. And at Vinnie's, I got... Oh, hang on. Yeah. No. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm freaking terrible. Yeah, Jet Pilot. I got this at, at Salvo's too. That for some reason, the Jet Pilot stuff keeps chasing me. So I'm a Jet Pilot... Um, a tractor as well apparently because that that I okay, that's a, that's the fourth I think third or fourth piece of jet pilot fourth piece of jet pilot which I'd never heard of until the other last week uh, item I'd found I found and it's a, a large size so and it's a nice shirt it's got that on the back of it as well so I think I think I should be able to sell it okay I hope you can hear me when I got a cloth over my face okay so that was that one and then then I went to Vinnie's and I got these whoa sorry knocked it over i've got my thing on charge so everything's it's in the way of everything um i got this mug and it's made in in um western australia i got two i've got a purple one and this one i thought they were really really nice and i will probably sell them because they will get broken in my house but aren't they nice like with all that like marbled run look on them i thought they were really pretty there's a purple one here i seem to get purple and pink a lot lately um what else did i get I think I got the hat mask. Now the reason I got the hat mask is it's it's actually paper mache. Someone's spent a lot of time doing that. See how cool that is, and that'll be great in my dress up box with all my other items which are in storage, um, because I haven't got a cat. But yeah, I thought that was really cool, and, it, and someone's gone to a lot of work making that with paper mache and done a really nice job. So it was only fifty cents. So that's why I got that. And I also got this book. I'm gonna try and see if I can sell that healthy life book. Um, a few have sold on eBay. But I might even read it even though I don't like cooking but you never know I might surprise myself one day and I also got I thought for some reason I had more at, at um, Vinny's than that I can't remember um, just some knickknacks I think some of these are glass so I'm just going to be very careful I'm not even going to pull them out just at the moment they're only a dollar for the bag a lot of butterflies so I'll put them in somewhere as a bulk collect some more or something I don't know I get lots of junk, don't I? It's gonna be, it's good junk. It's good junk, Nelly. It's good junk. So, um, and I think I feel like I got something else at that one, but I can't remember what it was. So maybe I didn't. And then I finally went to the uh, last one, which is one I'd never been to before. I think it was a Anglican um, run. It was one of those messy ones that I love to dig through again. And I got. A tap out shirt. Now I've never heard of tap out before, but apparently they sell quite well. Um, like I said before, if my, none of my shirts sell, I'm going to have a really good, well dressed husband and grand grandson, fourteen year old grandson. I fit in a lot of these. And another tap out one. And oh, this is from Vinnie's. This one, I think. It was a Vinnie's one, I think. So that's a fox um, ride, riding one. They, they sell quite well, those ones. I don't know if you can see it. I'm probably rushing you through it. Uh, the fox, it's a ri racing motorbike, what do you call it? You know, cross trail, I don't know what it's called. That type of thing. They get the whole outfit with that. <sighs> that's all I got there, I think. I'm pretty sure. I feel like there's something missing, but maybe not. But then I went to this one, like I said, I went to the one, I've got the shirt, so I went to the, um, no, that was it from that one. No, 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 it wasn't it. Good, I'm all over the place. I'm really tired today, guys, really tired. I've got to go into town again and pick up kids shortly. Um, I've got another vintage purse. See what I said about I'm attracting vintage purses lately, which is really cool. I think it was $3. I think it was $3, and it's made in Hong Kong, and I've had one very similar to that. So, yeah, the, the vintage purses seem to be saying find me find me so i am <laughs> little mark just there so that's that one then 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 last thing i did i went to 
because I can't help myself. I had to go down to Yambar, which is 20, 15 minutes up the road to see the kids because I wasn't sure if they were coming home with me or going home back to school on the bus. And I decided to go back to school on the bus to stay at some friends' places. And so, you know, when you when you go all that way, you might as well go and check the op shop because, you know, you don't want to miss out on anything. Yeah, okay. And I walked in and there was owls everywhere. Owls everywhere. But they were, a lot of them were in the front cupboard. And I thought, well, they're a bit pricey and they're a bit modern. So I walked down the back and lo and behold, down the back shelf, on the back stand, were these vintage ones. Two of those. Now, one is, one's got, what is it? kitchen prayer and one's got my house the only thing i they are cut souvenir ones because they've got towns tung curry's on that one and tamworth is on that one so that that's two i will be selling all my owls together i think like i said yesterday and i'm pretty sure was there another owl Can't remember. let me have a look in my box of tricks yes there was then there was this owl, and is she cute? Not, oh, she's got a stamp on the back bottom, but she's also been covered over, made in Taiwan, and it's got the number, art number and everything. So that was that one. And for some reason, that one was priced 50 cents more than this one. But anyway, they're both exactly the same. So, But they're so cute, and they're so vintage. So you've got them. I'm getting I'm running out of space I've really got to tidy up and start listing very very soon um I got myself another ink cartridge which is not covered but I still will be able to sell that and I also got this really cute little Dutch shoe oh, I wouldn't be surprised they all came from the same place because there was a lot of vintage stuff there so she's probably passed away and uh it says some fanny Holland and then a and then a code number on the bottom of it so I'll have to look at it that later something fanny uh, Gouda Holland maybe hello I don't know what Gouda is but I thought it was cute really cute really cute I might even put it in the planter or something I don't know and these also came in that same shop they were 50 cents each little elves pixies something some type of little ornament someone loved one time that I shall sell because they're not my type of thing um, and this peanuts I don't know if I'll be able to sell it very easy because I think the, the balloon has faded but I know that peanuts cups so keep an eye out for them guys thinking we used to have one of these they go for quite a good amount of money on eBay um, people will collect anything peanuts so keep an eye out that for that sort of stuff this is a uh, doesn't have a date on it I thought it did doesn't have a date but I don't think it'll sell that well because it is faded but it's 50 cents so my kids will just get another cup that they can use um, then there was this really odd it's just that's all it is it's just like that's it it's just this little square ornamental pretty ornament <laughs> it doesn't do anything it doesn't open but it was only 50 cents actually you know what I think it maybe maybe it did open at one time and they glued it I think that's probably what's happened I'm not sure. I think that's what they've done. Someone's probably sick of it being bumped, opened up all the time. They've glued it. I may investigate. We'll see. And then the very last thing I think was there was this bud. I don't know if you call it bud vase or what do they call it? A vase. Um, I looked. I saw the shape of it first. It cost me two dollars. But the glass. I have a feeling it's actually cut glass because it's not. It's quite sort of got a sh very sharp very sharp um, edge to it and that's what cut glass is um, press glass you can actually run your hand over it quite well without feeling like it's going to cut you but I don't know it just it's got the really sharp feeling to it not so much yeah a little bit there too so yeah I don't know but anyway I'm, I really like it and it's old and I like it because it's old and I love the shape of it so I wonder what story it could tell me okay that was a bit of a rattly mess wasn't it um Oh, my teapot. I've got a teapot because <laughs> I'm going to put a plant in it. These are beautiful. This is old. This is Bakelite. Old aluminium. Is it aluminium? Or what was they used to use? Um, oh, no, it's got little bits and pieces. Someone's put their little life in here. No money, though, which is a shame. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's broken. It is broken. It's got a funky wrong screw on it. But I thought even, you know, like that, I can always put a, tea, a little plant in it, hang it somewhere. That's what I thought. Um, that's it. I really thought I had so much more and I've already gone, gone through it all. So I hope you enjoyed my rattling. 
Um, if you did, please press like. And if you didn't, that's okay. You don't have to watch me again. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to promise myself I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. I've got so much to list and so much to pop into the um, eBay. I've got all this that I've got today, all the stuff I got yesterday, um, all the stuff I got <laughs> the other day. I've got to stop, list and make some money and then I can go on a treasure hunt again. So that's it guys. I hope you do really well and I hope you enjoyed my rattlingness and um, I hope to see you all again soon. Take care until then. Bye.